Wait a minute, there's a checkpoint right there and right there? It's weird that there's two literally side by side. So where are we going now? Oh, damn. What is this place? Oh, this is Mother's Heart. Can I not fast travel? You need a travel pack to fast travel? Is that a travel? Oh, I need... Oh, dude, that's crazy. In order to fast travel, I legit need to hunt and do everything. That is so cool. Hold on. Travels pack, I need bony meat and fatty meat. So that means I need to hunt. Didn't I just see a boar around here? It'll be daybreak soon. You know what? I think I'm just gonna make my way towards the uh, place where I'm supposed to go. And if I see something, can I slide? Yes, I can. Oh my god, dude. I love this game so far. It's got a lot of really good lessons. Uh, good father figure. Which makes me happy because he's like a single father. And uh, if you guys didn't know, uh, I'm a single father. And it makes me happy. Oh god, run away. Run away. Don't look at me. I should probably... Switch back to regular arrows. Hold on, I need to make him go that way. Alright, come on, let's go. Oh no! He didn't see me, did he? I think we're good. I don't think my distraction was very good though. If I go this way, I think I can stay out of the sight. I don't really see any animals. I think I just saw one by the way, but I want these sticks. Where did I see him? There he is. No, come back here. I didn't want to let go. I wonder if there's a way to cancel your... Come here. Alright, good. We got a bunny. Uh, rabbit skin fatty meat. Alright, cool. What is it that we needed? Uh, no, no. Inventory... Hold on. Outfits. Crafting. There we go. That's what I was looking for. Alright, so I need bony meat. What has bony meat? I gotta do a little bit of re- Oh, wait. Face shot? Nope. That was a fail. Where'd he go? Got him. Now let's see if he's got what I'm looking for. Fatty meat, bony meat. Cool. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're literally right around the corner, so we're not going to use this. But it's good to know that... Cool, I have two fast travel packs. So the boars definitely has both of the items that I'm looking for. I really like this mechanic. It makes you work for what you're trying to achieve. Oh my god, this game is so beautiful. Look at this. Aloy. Hey, what's up, Daddy-o? speak what's up so it's time are you ready to duel uh yes yes i guess it's louder than i expected you've never been so close before i guess everything's bigger up close soon it'll all seem familiar like home i don't know 
know about that. Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? I think I'm good, actually. Um, let me see. Uh, Mother's heart. What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting, more than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs, a center of Nora life, a jewel of the sacred land. Give it time, and you'll grow fond of it, as I was, back when I was at the tribe. Uh, any last minute advice? Any final lessons before I head in? No, you've learned every lesson the wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there though. It is with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Absolutely. Do you think they'll let me in though? Are you sure they're gonna let me in? <laughs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Okay, well, I mean, other than that, I think I'm all set, Daddy-o. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Oh, what? Here. Take this, too. Remember. What? I'm talking like we'll never see each other again. No. No. You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. Oh, I'll be the one no. breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Well, until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you will never find me. This... This is goodbye. Oh my god. Good riddance? That's fucked up. <laughs> uh... I, I will find you. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This oh time. my god. And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. Oh my god, dude, really? And you. Oh, that makes me sad, dude. They clearly have a really big connection. For now. First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. So we are definitely gonna track him down. <laughs> We're persistent. Uh-oh. Time for the proving. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Your choice. What? Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I Good. assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You're just... <laughs> <laughs> Where else would I be? Come on now. Wasn't she I've there at my naming? Long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja. Come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. That's the kid. Try telling him that. <laughs> 
That's the kid that was hanging. May the goddess protect. That we saved. Has to be, right? He's the only one that I can think of. She said down to the right. This game is so gorgeous. Oh my god, I'm in love. What's this? Interact. Is that all it is? Interesting. Okay. I guess she oh, never experienced that. Hey, yeah, it is him. It? Hey, what's up, Ted? It is Aloy, isn't it? He has an agent in it. your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. <laughs> I remember. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All I'm sure. Years, I hope to see you again, if you came to run in the proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead. A maker of garments and armor. That's cool, though. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. Cool, we got a new What's skit, a new uh, outfit? Cost, <laughs> nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. I really appreciate that, man. So, outfit, Nora Brave. Hold on, Nora. Oh my god, I love this. I could buy a lot of these. So, this is this was the one that's free. A, uh, it's called Nora Brave. A new Nora Brave's armor stitched by Teb. Uh, a accentuated by Alloy's own designs. Offers no extra protection, but can be upgraded. That's good. Cool. Well, let's take this. I'll equip it. Absolutely. And then I can buy... I really like this one a lot, actually. This one's my favorite one, of all things. Rigged for endurance and protection against all the elements, this armor is well-tested against the extremes of the sacred land. Uh, stitch for stealth. Okay, this outfit makes the wearer harder to see and wear. So this one's for the cold, I guess? Nora Braves... A Nora Braves armor reinforced for the upfront war party. This metal... Also, this is basically more defense. Uh, stitch for stealth. This outfit makes the wearer harder to see. Cool. But it can be upgraded. Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Seems to fit you perfectly. She changed in front of him? Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. Tirsa said something about envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. I wanted her to stop drinking her tea, okay. but she said... That's cool, man. I'm so happy. Right go guy. to the Matriarch's Lodge. Is it up or down? Let's go up. Actually, you know what? I take it back. I really like this outfit. Hey. That's beautiful. Did they just say holy moly? <laughs> That's awesome. What is this right here? Oh, this is just more fire. I'm assuming I'm going the right way. Ooh, can I loot this? Supply crate. No one's climbing on your roof, guy. Aloy, over here. Whoa. Oh, hey, what's up, man? Long time no see. Karst? What are you doing here? Careful. Pretend like we've never met. 
I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? Touche. How did I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. I <laughs> to see the looks on some of these faces when you win. And if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. Good to know. Uh, why'd you come? So, mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you. If you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. Uh, you can tell they have a good relationship. Uh, let's trade. All right, let's do this. Do I, do I need anything? He sells outfits? Are these the same? I think these are all the same. So resources, ammo. Um, I mean, I guess I could buy some more of these. Whoops, I didn't mean to buy two. Oh no, that was shock arrow. Oh man, all right, whatever. Inventory's full. Let's just stock up on everything, screw it. I'm literally just gonna buy everything. Everything that I can. Rock bundle, don't need. Don't need that. Alright, I don't have enough. Trader box? I wonder what those are. See you later, Karst. Those are free one, but whatever. Actually, you know what? I'll give you my best. Uh treasure boxes. Let's just take the free one. This box uh, must be open to reveal its context. The box holding free items set aside for new customers. It's free, so might as well. Uh, I think we're good. Always I think we're good. Happy to take your shards. Well, I'm always happy to give you them. Give you some. Let those cargo outsiders pollute our sacred land. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first, we have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. 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 <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by and the slavers. hand of yeah. Sand King yeah. of Killers Arnold. and slavers! Whoa. Hey, hey, Luminance hold your fruit, nor, uh, nor <laughs> are faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja, so I'll put it just straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. Okay. A tyrant and a monster raided my tribe for blood sacrifice just like yours. My own sister would take it. Damn. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. So he killed his own dad? The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology straight from the lips of the 14th king so please can't you lend him your ears i mean that's a good point so i suppose all right thank you <clears throat> an annunciation of gratitude written by the hand of sun king avad what is she trying to scan what Of the Nora. Oh, the eve of your Possibly. I won't let the card with faith to stop me. Weird. He's wearing a focus. Just like mine. Hey. You're the only other person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places, forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? Why, uh, I I'm technically not. not even a tribes person. Delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Is it broken? Apologies. Uh, 
a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Wow, that's weird. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> hey. You got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? Yesterday. Is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now, he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. Thank you, I guess? That was uh, quite a speech you put on there. I thought your friend was going to go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. Silver tongue, this sure one. I could do it. Menora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? Yeah, I, I, I get it. Uh, you have nice armor, <laughs> I I've guess. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Now let me introduce you. That sounds cool. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard of the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. You might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. <laughs> yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. Is that a challenge? I got questions. I wanted to ask you something else. Hey, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. Uh, what are the Red Raids? I never heard anything about Red Raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? You can say that. I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. Same here. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. <laughs> you don't say. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. Damn. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. That sucks. So how did the raids end? So what happened? How did it all end? The Mad King's own son united Karja rebels with Asaram freebooters. And together we did the impossible, took back Meridian and killed the crazy old king. So now the sun sits on the throne and it's a big improvement. Under Avad, there's no more sacrifices, no more slavery. People from all tribes are welcome in Meridian now, even Nora exiles. You really should come visit. I bet you that's where her dad went. Uh, or really, or sure, Osaran freebooters? Who are the Osaram? Oh, that's my tribe, far to the northwest. We're good at three things arguing, working steel, and brewing. And freebooters, what are those? I guess you could say we were mercenaries, you know, warriors for pay. Except a lot more loyal than that makes us sound. <laughs> Avad couldn't have taken down his father without our metal and muscle. And now, some of us serve proudly as his personal vanguard. Such as you. All right, so I know a little bit personal, but I actually will get to that. The Karja? If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. No, I agree. Besides, the Karja don't just fight. They build. Would take Meridian. Next to it... Everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. But can they break bones? Meridian? Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky, reflecting the sun. 
and you really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Or both. So explain about this derangement. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah. I don't have to tell you that, right? First yes. I've heard of it. <laughs> oh. I'm sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as he was smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. That's interesting. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Why? Like the sawtooth. Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along. Believe me. So what's making it happen? Exactly. No one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Really? That's crazy. Tell me about the derangement again. Oh. Well, the way I hear it, 15 when a hunter came at them. Alright, let's so just skip this since we already heard more. this. Now, when a hunter, a few more years, if that wasn't bad enough. Like the sawtooth. Yeah, 10 years. So what's making it happen? No one knows. Alright, so now that that's done, uh, I know this is a little bit personal, man, but tell me about your sister. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> Captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Wait, what? Captain of the entire Vanguard. Favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, oh, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? Are you flirting with me? Or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh direct okay then I want to ask you about something you said before ask away so I should go to the blessing all right Olin what else do you know about Olin <laughs> is he really that interesting yes I'm starting to get jealous well he scours he's the definitely wilds, flirting ruins, digs up stuff and sells it to nobles when he's not scrounging he's scouting exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. Uh, alright. I should go to the Blessing, then. I should make my way to the Blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but... It's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable, and... Well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> you know what. All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'll be a whole new life, if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing, too. So, uh, see you around, maybe? I mean, he doesn't seem to be shady. It's a little weird, though, that he's over here flirting with me, but... I guess good intentions, question mark? Is it down here? Yes. Oh god, maybe I should be careful before I fly off the mountain. This ain't Skyrim. Or maybe it is, I don't know. Oh god. Whatever it is, it's here. What are we doing? Talk to Teresa. Aloy, take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Why is she care? Why does she care for me so much? Blasphemy, sisters. Ever Aspirants, since I was a child. Before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, <laughs> light its flame. Um, for Roost. In honor of Rost. And all he did to help me get here. 
I love that guy. Mother, hear our prayer. What is a child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. I always thought those flying things were beautiful. So, so what are we doing? Uh, talk to Olin. Was that it? I thought we were supposed to do some sort of a test. Alright, looks like I gotta go around. Excuse me, excuse me. Can you guys get out of the way, please? I'm... Hold on, why is there two... Alright, which way is Olin? So this is the hunter's lounge. All right, so I think, yeah, this is Olin. So let's talk to Olin first. It's the optional part of this quest. Get out of my way. Hey, wait, where'd he go? Did I pass him? Oh, he's just standing right here. Hello, Olin. You know my name. Ah, uh, guess Aaron told you. Yep. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. <laughs> I got nothing to hide. Uh, who are you? What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Aaron needed a scout for his expedition and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the king's court. That's all. Uh, okay. So, now for the big question at hand. Where did you find your focus? I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the claim. That's our name for the Asaram homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. <clears throat> forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. So why is yours malfunctioning? When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain, or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you, it malfunctioned. He's hiding something. Time. Never happened to me. Why are you lying to me? You're not a very convincing liar. Do you always accuse people you've just met of lying? Yes. Only the ones who aren't <laughs> telling the truth. Fire and spit, girl. I'm a plain hammered man with nothing to hide. You're hiding you don't something. Me. That's your trouble, not mine. Uh I expected more of you. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need the bother. He's rude. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. He, there's something off about that man. Like he's hiding something big. What? I don't know. I just don't know. So do we have to go to sleep now? And then wake up to the big event? Definitely activate that. <clears throat> so chuff is a bad word, apparently. Did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. I can't wait to prove his ass wrong. Oh, this is the bed house. With you standing guard, I figured it was the latrine. You're, you're very 
<laughs> uh, good, asshole. Dude's a dick. Well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. Oh, I remember you. <laughs> I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Yep, I now remember that's you. That's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. <laughs> They're really making all the dudes look like asshats, aren't they? Where's your bite, outcast? Or did you need my permission to speak in the presence of a true Nora? Oh, shut up, dude. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the proving. The graphics are amazing. Uh, dude, I pity you, bro. I really do. The only way you know how to feel strong is to make someone else feel weak. It's not working. Good for you. <laughs> I've trained all my life. I love this girl. You'll see tomorrow how strong I am. Oh, I've seen plenty. You grew a man's body, kind of. <laughs> but down deep, you're still a scrawny little brat. You know, I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. Beating a woman what makes you feel tough? Is how the other children saw that you were a monster. But I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because <laughs> that would be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> she is so witty. I love this girl. Oh, uh, you? Why do you? Why do you keep defending me? Vala. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet till morning, anyway. I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. <laughs> Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. It's a now, good lesson. if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Seems like friendly competition. Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. I like that girl. She seems nice. So sleep. Alrighty. I guess we're waking up for this. Let me... Make sure I'm so, sitting up. <laughs> your first day in mother's heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Uh, that's not too bad, I suppose. It has certain charms. Homey enough, once you're accepted. That's the problem. I think you'll find a place here. I do. Get some rest. She's sweet. Main quest, Mother's Heart. <clears throat> oh, snap. Is this the proving? I really like this outfit that Aloy has on right now. I'm confused. Keep pushing, girl. Oh, I think we, I think we were just supposed to make it to the top. Who's this guy? Yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? <laughs> Rude. 